Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee, SNS Storm Chasers. And it uh, might be a busy weekend uh, with regards to what we're seeing on a severe weather threat. And there are a few things going on that I just want to point out. First off, for today, there's a marginal risk of severe weather across much of Maryland uh, to about the Delaware border and then extending southward covering looks like the entire eastern half of Virginia and a small portion of northeastern North Carolina uh, with regards to this weather front that's overhead that is dying out. Now, for Saturday, uh, we're seeing a marginal risk of severe weather for parts of central and western Maryland back through West Virginia and the most of the state of Virginia except the extreme south. But it's Sunday that is the day of, of uh, real interest. And I, I really just don't see this too often where the uh, Storm Prediction Center in indicates an enhanced risk three days, three forecast periods or three days out, including today. But indeed for Sunday, a large area of severe weather is forecast uh, with the marginal risk extending up all the way into Southern New England and through central New York State. Slight risks from uh, New York City and northern New Jersey, northeastern Pennsylvania, southward, and an enhanced risk for extreme southwestern New Jersey, extreme southeastern Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, and just about the entire eastern half of the state of Virginia and most of eastern North Carolina. And you can see how that slight risk then ex extends back southward through the rest of South uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Uh, we have a uh, pretty serious looking weather system that's coming through, but I just want to back it up a little bit. I'm going to show you uh, what's going on in the upper layers of the atmosphere with this, because this is uh, uh, where you, we see some of the more impressive dynamics. And it has to do with the fact that we have a strong uh, inflow setting up here ahead of a, a, a cold front that's probably right about through here, uh, late Monday afternoon, Monday evening. And in the green, we're looking here at the uh, five, roughly the 5,000 foot level, 850 millibars, uh, and looking at the jet stream at that level. So there's a, a 40 knot or more jet stream uh, that's uh, running across uh, eastern Virginia. And then you see it back up through uh, much of central and northern New Jersey. So this strong jet is, is pretty much indicative of of a really good inflow that's coming into this. And we have a lot of lift. Uh, the uh, upper trough with this is very strong. If we take a look at that, I'm going to switch over to the um, upper, upper air, the 500 millibar, or roughly the 18,000 foot level. But we have uh, the, right here, you can see this is for mon uh, Sunday evening. This is a very, very strong trough. And it's, it's what we call negatively tilted. That is, it's tilted from uh, northwest to southeast, which is, means all the energy is lifting up. And you can see the entire jet comes all the way around and these yellow, uh, the yellow streaks uh, going all, all the way up here, right, right through there. So that's, that's, that's all just pretty much showing that we have good inflow uh, through all this. When I say good, I mean that, uh, I, I mean strong. I, I'm not making a uh, characterization uh, of uh, trying to sound like I'm rooting for thunderstorms here, but when, when the atmosphere, you know, and whether people use the word good, they oftentimes mean um, impressive or strong. And that's what we're, we're, we're seeing here. So I just want to put this in the back of your mind as far as the weekend is concerned. Uh, we, if you have any outdoor uh, plans uh, just uh, for Sunday, uh, well, you just want to bear in mind that there, there will be, you know, we've got this uh, potentially serious severe weather risk. And also, I just want to show you, by the way, that if you do have plans for Sunday, depending on where you are, they may wind up being indoors because uh, Saturday looks to be okay for the most part. But then by Sunday morning, and one of the things that's happening is we have a warm front that's setting up. So it's hard to see how much rain is going to be ahead of it. It may set up further north. And then as we go through the day, and this is for late afternoon and evening, we start to see the uh, showers and thunderstorms. And this is the GFS model. So when it, GFS shows this, it's really telling you that there's you know, something uh, impressive going on when you start to see the, um, the rain bands showing up here in the uh, more impressive colors and the darker greens and yellows. So that's indicative of some heavier precipitation. So uh, we can pretty well assume that these are going to be strong thunderstorms. So bear that in mind. Uh, we also I just want to touch real quick on the tropics. 
Uh, we'll go down to the Gulf of Mexico because that's where the action is going to be uh, later this weekend and in the first part of next week. But we have low pressure that's going to be developing in the Northwest Caribbean and emerging into the Gulf. And uh, the GFS model and the other models are developing this or trying to develop this into some sort of tropical system. And the National Hurricane Center is uh, indicating a 60% chance that this could become a tropical cyclone uh, late in the weekend or very early uh, next week. So we'll watch this because the way the upper flow is, when you look at the upper flow west to east, so anything that's down here is going to move northeastward over Florida and then out northeastward from there. This is a very, very deep trough for this time of year. Uh, you don't see it this often in uh, early June to see such a, a, a vortex this strong, but it does happen. It's, it's not, it, it, it just doesn't happen very often. So this is really controlling the flow. So anything that that comes out of the Gulf of Mexico is going to, going to run northeast or east-northeast out into the open waters of the Atlantic anyway. But uh, the fact that we could possibly have our third name storm and we're not even through the first full week of June uh, is perhaps indicative of the kind of season uh, we're going to see. So um, have a good uh, Friday and a great weekend. Be safe and uh, pay attention, of course, to SNS storm chasers as we uh, uh, take a look at all the severe weather that might be going on for the weekend.